folktales. And we know that yesterday we talked about the setting, which is <clears throat> in the city, a city by the forest. And then we also learned about our characters. So we have the grandma, we have Little Red Riding or Little Bad Riding Hood, the wolf, and mom is in there as well. But the farmer is not in this story. So we see a tractor, but we don't. That's not one of our main characters. Now today we're going to talk about sequencing. So sequencing, remember, we have first, second, next, then things that happened in order of our story. And remember, just like when you get up in the morning, you have to be able to get up in the morning before then you could brush your teeth and eat lunch or breakfast. Excuse me, this part was getting things out of order too. So our question that we're gonna be thinking about is what happens right after Little Red, Little Bad Riding Hood sees Wolf for the first time? So that's gonna be our sequencing question. So what happens right after Little Red Riding Hood sees Wolf for the first time? What happens? So as I read, I want you to think about that. Once upon a time, there was a naughty girl named Little Bad Riding Hood. One day, her mother said, take these cakes to your granny, dear, and try to be good. Go straight there and don't speak to any strangers. Little Bed Riding Hood set off, but soon wandered off the path and met a tall gray stranger. Mmm, cakes, said the wolf. They look delicious. Hands off, they're for my granny, said Little Bed Riding Hood, trying to be good. But she won't miss one, will she, said the wolf. Suddenly, he heard a noise and ran off. Little Bad Riding Hood walked on, but thought about the wolf's words. Mmm, they look delicious. She ate one little cake, then another, and another. So thinking about what happened right after she met the wolf for the first time. Oh, crumbs, cried Little Bad Riding Hood after she had eaten all the cakes. Now what can I give Granny? She looked around and put stones in her basket instead. Perhaps Granny won't notice, she thought, and hurried on. Meanwhile, at Granny's cottage, the wolf was busy. He tied Granny up and hid her. He put on her nightcap. He jumped into her bed. He made up a tasty menu. Cake, Granny, bad riding hood. At last, there was a knock at the door. Granny, may I come in? Called Little Bad Riding Hood. Yes, my dear, the wolf replied, pretending to be Granny. Oh, Granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, you look very ill. What big eyes you've got. All the better to see you with, said the wolf. Now give me, but Granny, I'm sorry, here we go, said Little Bad Riding Hood, you look terrible. What a big nose you've got. All the better to smell you with, said the wolf. Now give me the cakes. But Granny, said Little Bad Riding Hood, what a big mouth you've got. All the better to eat you with, said the wolf. Take them, said Little Bad Riding Hood. But you won't like them. The wolf grabbed the basket and started to eat. Crack, went his teeth as they crunched on the stones. Ouch, cried the wolf as his teeth fell out. He ran away toothless. Well done, Little, Red Ri little Bad Riding Hood, said Granny. The wolf won't be eating anyone for a while. But why were you bringing me a basket of stones? As Granny looked around, Little Bad Riding Hood was already running out the door. Okay, so you are going to draw a picture of what happened right after Little Bad Riding Hood meets the wolf for the first time. So sorry, my computer keeps doing that. And then you're going to write us that it's describing your picture. So Miss Marks has put on her board what happens right after in our story. So remember, he's like, oh, they look delicious. And then he sees a tractor or sees somebody that and he shouldn't be there. So that's why he ran away. So Little Red Riding Hood eats all the delicious cookies. So drawing a picture of what happens right after Little Bed Riding Hood meets the wolf for the first time. And then you're going to write a sentence describing what you drew. So Little Bad Riding Hood, and you're going to fill in that sentence. So your Jamboard's going to be blank because you're going to draw your picture. And then you're going to write a sentence describing your picture. So what happened? What did Little Bad Riding Hood do? So that is our sequencing for today. So knowing what happens in our order because she has to eat all the cakes in order for her to get the stones and then for the wolf then to eat the stones. So head to your Jamboard and do your activity.